<laughs> Today I got my hands on some chargers from Yukus. Maybe I should say this is a complete charging solution. As you can see, I got a variety of different outputs ranging from 45W, 65W, 67W to a massive 140W. The best part is that they all use GAN technology. So let's find out how these chargers actually perform. First, these chargers are in relatively simple package. The boxes are labeled with their maximum output power as well as the power distribution scheme among various interfaces. From the package, we can see that these chargers support a wide input from 100 volts to 240 volts, and they all can reach the maximum output power under these voltages. So all of them are adapted to wall plug power standards around the world. Open the package, you can see the charger and the manual. It is worth noting that there is an exclusive charging cable included for the 140 watt GAN charger. We've tested with the 140 watt charger. Later, I will show you the result. And I would say it's the best companion with a 140 watt charger. For this charger, when the output power reaches its maximum of 140 watts, which is with a standard of 28 volts and 5 amp, since not all the cables on the market support a 5 amp current delivery, it is a very thoughtful and correct thing to do to include a high quality cable in the package. These GAN chargers from Yukus are all designed with the same shape and surface with a matte finish. In fact, the rough surface is a very smart design in my opinion. It won't get any fingerprints on it and it won't wear down the surface after long term use. As you all know how annoying if we have to even store the chargers with care or clean the surface's fingerprints. These chargers also have foldable pins. The maximum output power is labeled next to each output port, which is thoughtful for those who don't know much about charging tech and can make the right move simply by following the figures. And if you know a bit more about charging bricks, you can see that these chargers from Yukus have a size advantage even compared to other chargers that also use GAN technology. I also tested the weight of these chargers so you can pause and take a closer look. As we took the 140 watt and 65 watt traveling with us a few days ago, we haven't struggled once with its storage and weight. And these chargers are perfect for carrying multiple devices on to go for work or travel. Especially with the 140 watt model, it really helped us out. For example, thanks to the multiple high spec ports, we can have a reasonable yet fast charging distribution for both my laptop and phones at the same time. Like about 100 watt for the laptop and 40 watt for the smartphone. It's already more effective than using some single port fast charger. Here comes the most important thing, the charging protocols. These chargers support basically the same protocols with very good support for PD, PPS, and QC protocols. This means these chargers can output the nominal maximum power for most devices. Well, of course, the devices should also be supported well with the fast charging protocols. I've also shown the protocols as well as the power of these devices so you can take a closer look here. So making decisions about carrying which charging bricks become very easy. You can just choose based on the devices you have. Let's say you have a MacBook Air M1 edition and an iPhone. The MacBook Air support a maximum charging power of 40 watts, while the iPhone support up to 20 watts. Then the Yukus 65 watt with two USB-C port is far enough. If you have another smart wearable like AirPods or Apple Watch, the 67 watt with one more USB-A port will be a safer option. If you only need to charge your iPhone and Apple Watch, then the smaller and lighter 45 watt charger is a more convenient choice. The 140 watt charger is more suitable for high power laptops and power banks or uses with more devices. For example, when charging my 14 inch MacBook Pro, the power needed can go up to 100 watt. When charging multiple different devices, this 140 watt charger can even charge two laptops at the same time. Of course, these chargers don't support a specific brand's protocols such as Oppo's Superbook, OnePlus Dash, etc. These Chinese phone brands offer very high charging power, but not yet open their charging protocols. I used the Yukus 67 watt GAN charger for testing. A few iconic phones were selected for testing. If you want to reach the highest charging power claimed by these Chinese brands, you will have to go for an expensive official charger. But the good news is that the Yuka 67W GAN charger has a full support for the PPS protocols and even if it doesn't support private protocols, it still has decent charging speeds and it is faster than most third-party chargers. Meanwhile, I also conducted a stress test. First of all, with this 67W charger, I tested the temperature after one hour of fully loading and temperature control was very good. Similarly, I tested the temperature of the 140 watt charger with the full output and it was also in a very good state. 
Not only that, I also tested the output ripple of these chargers when fully loaded. Surprisingly, as you can see, these chargers all have excellent ripple performance. In practice, these Yokis multi-port chargers have significantly improved my charging efficiency with good convenience. I usually finish charging my phone and earbuds before going to bed, which not just saves a lot of time, but also keeps the devices in a good battery health. My favorite of these chargers is of course the 67 watt, as it can charge both my laptop and my phone at the same time, while leaving a USB-A port for another smart gadget, and surprisingly, it maintains almost the same compact size as the 65 watt charger. Okay, let's jump to the conclusion. To be honest, this is the first time that we do a review across a series of fast chargers from the same brand. We used to recommend one or two from a brand's product line since not all the chargers in the line perform equally well, but Yukas's chargers really have a standard for maintaining stable output, so we really suggest you consider this brand more when buying a fast charger. Nothing really felt bad during the review. Yukas chargers support a wide range of charging protocols, quite enough for most devices, and with the good support of various PPS protocols, it can also handle your charging needs for any latest phones. At the same time, the Yoka Scan charger has excellent temperature control and ripple performance. The most important thing is that there are various compact models from 45W to 140W, so you can choose the right ones. Okay, this is Yoka Scan charger review. Hope this helps, and we will see you next time.